everyone. This is Frank from Apple One to One. Today I want to go over uh, how to create a spreadsheet showing your credit and debit card transactions by month using some categories and summaries and things like that. So the first thing that I want to do is to open a blank worksheet with four columns and approximately 35 rows. The title you want to just title it credit slash debit card transactions by month. In row one, the first field, uh, the first column, we're going to put date, then description, credit card, and the amount. Now, the date, when you go into the date field, you want to, if you look over on the right here, you're going to do, you're going to format this in date and time. And the date format that you were going to use is the month and year. The time we want to set as none. All right. So that when you type in here, you're going to type what I've done here is for each month, I've put in 1-4-2024, and when you hit enter, it's going to convert that to January 2024, and then February, March, April, May, so on and so forth. So you would fill in each of those months. Now, our description, we're going to format that as just text, and your description is going to be whatever you're going to use your credit card for. So that's relatively arbitrary. The next thing is our credit card. Now, the credit card, what I want you to do here is we're going to go over to Format, Cell, and you're going to select a pop-up menu. And in here, you're going to see item 1, 2, 3. And you just double-click on it and type in whatever credit card um, you have. So in this case, I've done American Express. The second one is the Apple card. It's a MasterCard. A Citibank card for Costco. A Visa card. And a Wells Fargo. And I've indicated that this is a debit card. Now, there are five cards here, five selections. And you can add as many as you want. You would just hit the plus sign and you would put in a new item. So if you had a PNC card, just put it in. And, and, and you could continue your list that way until you have all of your credit and debit cards in there. So now once you have all of your cards in there, then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you start with a blank. Because, see, you could say start with first item, but we want to start with a blank. Then, after it's in this C2, you're just going to slide it down. And what it will do, it will copy what's in C2, that drop-down menu, to each of the subsequent rows. And you'll see that PNC is in there as well. So there's your complete list. And then your amount field, we're going to format that. You go to Format Cell. We're going to use currency, two decimal places, and negative numbers in red and in quotes with a thousand separator. And, of course, USD or whatever currency uh, is in your area. A description, like I said, is arbitrary. So then what we're going to do is... Once that happens, let's say show you that we can do some little bit of formatting. Let's say we want this and we want the fill here instead of gray. We want it to be uh, black. Instead of black, we want the text to be white. Whoop, sorry. It's black there. And then click here and go white. And maybe we want it centered. So once we do that, then we can move this off. We're going to go to Organize. 
in the right hand, right to the right of format, you hit organize. And you're going to see you have categories. So we're going to turn categories on. And you see this changed our table. But what you're going to do here is you're going to say show groups for, and then you're going to select date. And by, you have, you can show the value, but here we're going to select year and month. And that is going to give us the January 2024, February, March, and so on and so forth. Our next, then you're going to hit add a category, which then you're going to select credit card. Select your credit card and buy value. So what that will do then, we will be able to click here and you see this little gear. Click on that and you're going to hit sum. That will then summarize whatever you put in there by that category. So as you can see here in February, we have a blank, right? So let's put in, um, let's see, uh, car repair. And so here you, we're going to select, uh, let's say we use American Express, and it's uh, $325. All right. Now, notice in January I had these three lines, lunch, theater, and dinner. So uh, here, let's say we use American Express. Theater, we use mm, Apple. And dinner, we use, let's say, Apple again. So now you see how it sorts it by the card type that you're using and if you minimize these you see you have a summary by American Express you have a summary by your MasterCard the Apple card and you have a summary on the J January total and then the same could be true here in February now if you have multiple items in February, all you would do is click on the row, this little down arrow, click on it, add a row below. Notice it'll put in February and whatever card you had selected here in the row above it, and put in, um, let's say, gas, and because we're a member of Costco, we're going to use our Costco card, and it's going to be Oh, let's say $45. All right. And again, you can continue on. Again, hit that down arrow and add a row below. And, well, let's say food. And again, we want to use the Costco card. Uh, let's say $245. Boom. Now, you'll notice we have a subtotal for Costco $290, American Express $325, and $615 for February. And we can collapse each of these levels. So as you start filling in your months, you can just have those summaries, a one line total for each month to see where you stand with your credit cards. Uh, and then as you open that, you can see 325 for American Express, 290 for Costco, so on and so forth. Pretty easy setup, um, and it's a nice way to track what you're doing during the course of the year with each of your credit cards. And of course, if you decide you want to consolidate them at any time, you can go into format, let's say, for example, on the credit cards, uh, go to sell. And then you want to modify your pop-up menu. But I will caution you. What you want to do is anytime you make a change here, you're going to want to make sure that it's reflected in all of the months. All right. I hope that helped. I hope that uh, gave us some tips on how to use your options 
for organizing with your categories by certain fields. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you very much.